Hey everybody, welcome to part 11 of Ratchet Deadlock. So today we'll be doing the Vindicator Tournament. Woohoo! I don't know why I go woohoo a lot. Oh, another cutscene. Last week we saw the spectacular deaths of leading contestants Agent Bizarro, Plasma Woman, and Orange Comet. Now the low seated Lombax, known as Ratchet, has surged to the top of the Dread Zone rankings. Frankly, I can't believe the little furball made it this far, Juanita. He is a scrappy sucker, huh, isn't he? He certainly is, Dallas. He's also a threat to children, endangered species, and common decency. Well, kids and dolphins and whatnot will be able to breathe a little easier once Ratchet has been cut down to size by the Eviscerator in this week's Exterminator Smackdown! No opponent has survived even 60 seconds against his razor-sharp titanium blades. Hmm, I'll bet he doesn't have any trouble getting a close shave, Juanita. <laughs> you get it? Shut up, Dallas. You're not that funny. <laughs> Aw, shut up, Dallas. You're not that funny. Juanita is such a dick, and Dallas is literally just a comedian, and I forgot to drop the weather. <laughs> Since you asked... I have 16 terabits of tri-directional asynchronous bandwidth on my core CPU. Ooh, that is a lot of throughput. Oh, uh, well, I... <clears throat> hey, Clank. I, I, I will call you right back. Who was that? Oh, uh, nobody, really. Was that the tech droid you were talking about? Hey, did you get those blueprints? Y yes Oh, yeah, you the man! Uh, but I have learned that many other heroes are imprisoned at this facility. We must help them, Ratchet. Well, sure, but how? I have noticed that the security monitors tend to go inactive when there is a big arena matchup. So if I fight one of the exterminators in the arena, it'll buy you some time, huh? It is dangerous, but it is the only way. No sweat. Those guys are toast. What's with the lions? Yeah. oh well. Now the eviscerator challenge is defeat him with only the scorpion flail and... Um, okay. Why am I not allowed to- there we go. It's like, why am I not allowed to do anything? Vindicator tournament! Due to what can only be described as miraculous luck, Ratchet has oh. all the way I have to use the sniper rifle, okay. Before he earns the rank of Vindicator, he'll- Okay! That went well. And now apparently Dallas isn't talking to me. Maybe this is the accuracy one, you know? Oh, now we have the scorpion flail. So maybe not. Oh. Yeah, that little dude. You folks at home can dial the Yeah, Scorpion Flail V6. And a nice juicy ammo mod. Oh come on, that's a dick move, guys. Dude, that was a little out of sync. Came to me like a few seconds ago. Ow, just, just kill it. Well, I like the magma cannon, dude. Death to all robots. Well, I guess you're not even really robots. You're just little dudes. Why, this one on for size, you filthy long bags. Oh yeah, actually did change my weapon that time. You were actually on cue, man. I guess this weapon does do a thousand damage. Like you can actually tell. It's clearly it's killing the tougher enemies like it's nothing. So that's good. Oh, now we have the dual vipers. Why does this one get full ammo? Oh, wait, no, never mind. It has 240. I thought it only had 200. That was like its old variant. Before we upgraded it. Infinite ammo! And Eagle Eye! Wow, we actually got it! Nice! <laughs> oh. What's this? Team Dark Star must dodge a massive bomb drop from a fleet of dreadlocks? What psychos thought this challenge up? And what's that? Reactor and shelter? I didn't even know they were friends. Say, did they use the car to Oh, right, yes, let's go to the action! Oh, Dallas, you're hilarious, man. I oh, might as well just level up this weapon some more. It has fallen behind, so it's worthwhile to level up weapons that have fallen behind. 
Because even the small guys give me good experience. More little guys over here. More over here. Oh, and there we go. V7 aiming mod. I don't know what the aiming mod is. I'm assuming it's just an upgraded first person mode uh, ability, I guess. I haven't tried really using the Omega mods, though. Now it upgrades slow again. Uh, let's see. Arbiter's close. Let's try this. So we gotta fight these guys anyway. Just don't stand under the uh, reticles after it's after it turns red. Otherwise, a barrel will drop on you and you will be blown to the reeds. Can I stop avoiding all my attacks? Ow! I didn't get out of that one. That guy. Can you guys all stop cheap shotting me all at the same time? That'd be much appreciated. I almost leveled this up. There we go. V Force Speed Mod. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Fully managed to just breaks into places. Mm hmm. V6, you're about to level up as well. So might as well use. Oh, you can actually kill these guys in one shot. Good for you. And you leveled up to V5 with the impact mod. So I wonder what putting those mods on will do. Like I've never actually tried putting them on. Maybe we should after this, uh, after we're done here. There we go. Challenge complete. Welcome to the matchup of a lifetime, Dreadzone fans. Our challenger, known for his exploits in organized crime, his dabbling in the occult, and his hatred of sunshine, puppies, and chocolate. Here's Ratchet. His opponent is a master of disembowelment and a fantastic chef. Ladies and gentlemen, the Abyssalator! Dallas, I predict this match is going to be very quick and very bloody. I almost feel sorry for little Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mean that, folks. Okay, let's see how much the Scorpion Flail does to him. Okay. Looks like we gain temporary uh, temporary invincibility while we're using this, though. Or his laser beam is just insta kill. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna be using that anytime soon. Not right now. We need to, uh, you know, get stronger. Like I said, we're gonna have to come back once we're like upgraded a lot more. Man, this does so much less than the Scorpion Flail does. Why? There we go. Now we're gonna summon his little goons. And now he's gonna come back, right? Yep, there he comes. I don't think you can cheese it by using the flail at the ending. Sadly. Run, ratchet, run. Ow, that was bull. You mean ass enemies. Why can't it be level up by usage as well? It makes it so much easier. Here, eat some napalm. See, for this weapon doing as much as it does, apparently, it doesn't honestly do much. I just randomly got hit by way too much stuff at that one time. Almost forgot about my mini turrets. Mini turrets, go! Rip them a new one. Oh yeah, mini turrets are beautiful, man. There we go, we became a Vindicator. Yeah. Man, we unlocked Planet Stygia. As well as Planet Maraxis. 
make way for our new Vindicator! Ew, ugly armor. Hey Al, I got here as soon as I could. Silence! Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? What are you doing? Clank, are you sure this is safe? It is an acceptable risk. Shh. I just need to close one more circuit. Al, oh, you're a genius! You did it! I know. No! Looks like somebody broke the rules. Put it back on. You're... <coughs> dead, Ace. Ooh, that's good. I like that spirit. But save it for the arena. <laughs> This never should have happened. It's all my fault. No, Ratchet. Ace Hardlight did this, and Gleeman Vox gave the order. They made a mistake bringing us here, Clank. Now they're gonna pay for it. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's the attitude, Ratchet. Why do I keep forgetting to change the weather, man? Can you stop turning stuff on and off? It's getting kind of annoying. Uh, let's do heavy rain. That does not look good. Not gonna lie, that, that looks like crap. There we go, sandstorm. Now like I said, there's gonna be more challenges. So we can now do them. Let's do the corkscrew because I absolutely hate this oh, one. All right, folks, here's a great zone flavor. Oh, King Dark Star will have to shoot the glide rail calibration horse in order now. to the track. Oh, good luck. Oh, yeah. Eh? You have to shoot them all till they're green. I find it a really weird concept. It's not difficult, this is really odd. You gotta make sure you get them all, otherwise, you can't get up. So, with them all activated, you can now use the Grand Rail. Oh, let's keep going. <sighs> Gotta hate these bright Grind Rails. Doesn't help that we turned on a Sandstorm. You die, please. No. Activate. 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 Set. Red ones you can't shoot. You have to do them in order. And with this, you should now be able to get across. You know what? Screw you. Um, hmm. I guess Fusion Rifles about to level up, so we'll use you. There we go. V9 Speed Mod. Okay, more enemies, really? Okay, yeah, let's get up on here. Let's get over to the other side. I don't know why I jump and then I lose my weapon for a brief period of time. I'm not entirely sure what the heck that is. And that's not what I want. I want to use this on these. This is really easy. It's boring, but easy. I haven't really failed much in this game, though. It was good. Oh, let's go up here. Oh yeah, I don't have any dual raptor. Dual raptor. Dual viper. I believe dual raptor is actually what it's called when it fully upgrades. There we go. With that, our pathway now goes all the way. Luckily, we just had a brief amount of ammo to finish that off. I believe this is it. It goes into like... Wait, what? Am I missing one? No. Just I guess I'm supposed to jump there. Hmm. Now we gotta wait and go through it all again. 
This music gets so epic and then it just like cuts off. It's like, aww. I wonder what's up there. I guess it's outside. Oh wait, yeah, it's clearly wasn't paying attention. That's what I get for looking at how long I've been recording. Now I believe this is just like, yeah, a wave of enemies. Ooh, tough enemies. I don't know, they have a scorpion flail. Boom. I love how we do that to them. So I can't believe we got the uh, the accuracy of 75% in that one mid challenge. That was a joke, right? I don't get why that did that, but whatever. Higher ground. Sweet. Why do you guys like these? Totally re-engineered by our very own red zone interns. And these guys are idiots. They have a hard time boiling water, let alone designing an arena challenge. Team Dark Star is oh, in serious trouble. Sounds like it. Damn, you can never catch these guys off guard, you know? Okay, that jumping was really weird and kind of buggy. Luckily, we made it. Okay. That was more time consuming than difficult. Ooh. Got a drop ship. I'll drop one of those little guys. Those weird laser dudes that seem really easy to kill. They get annoying when you're doing like missions like the turret, but otherwise, they're not so difficult. They're fairly easy to kill. They don't have a lot of armor. Why does my game keep kind of like pausing? Like it's the game itself. I don't know what's going on. I'm starting to question why that uh, rail is moving by itself. But it's this dread zone after all. I don't. It seems to be like the weapon change and then the grind rail. I think it's just some kind of weird glitch with that. Woo! Okay, right, now these are just falling ones. I'm fine with that. Yeah, see, it's every time it has to switch our weapon on the grind rail. Oh, look, we have one of these. These are, like, in literally every Ratchet and Clank game. Woo! Ho, ho, ho. Can you stop pausing like that? I'm like, I don't want to die. No! You gotta be effing trucking me, man. All that because of the fact that it pauses and doesn't want me to use my actual swing shot. God damn you, man. Alright, I can't shoot them. Now we're having a bad run in with all these things. No. What the hell is he doing? Can you stop pausing every time? Whoa, almost didn't make it. That was bad for a second. Oh. Apparently, I couldn't move because that enemy spawned gunk as soon as I spawned or got down. So, you know, that's completely fair. Die, Leviathan. And there we go. That is the last mission here done for right now. So with that, in the next episode, we'll be going to Planet Stygia, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Peace out.